cyber threats pose an enormous challenge for our country. Yahoo just admitted it fell victim to a massive data breach. It's one of the most serious economic and national security challenges we face as a nation. The data that's out there can be used against others. Protecting our digital infrastructure is a national security priority and a national economic priority. Cyber threats are an urgent and growing danger. My name is Steve Morrill. I'm the Director of Technology and Cyber Science here at Loyola Blakefield. Cyber Science at Loyola is the intersection of a liberal arts education meets modern day technology and really the world in which we live. So whether you're in business, finance, law, healthcare, or you're a traditional IT person, the cyber concept wraps all that in one nice neat package and we take a look from the top down at how that works in our world. Steve is, has taken the program and all of the knowledge from the technical side, but is also infusing the Jesuit um, background with that. One of the greatest differentiators, I think, is we have a very ethical approach to cyber. Wrapped around a Jesuit Catholic education, we take a long, hard look at the ethical line. Having you know high moral standards and, and sort of that um, you know that moral fiber that is what makes them successful in the field. It gives young men here an opportunity to work with a educator, a teacher, a leader who's at the cutting edge. It's working with um, ninth graders, 10th graders, 11th, 12th, all the way back into middle school. So you have kids at all different ages learning to integrate, communicate, get familiar with each other. The Jesuit principle of you're a part of something that's greater than yourself in a team atmosphere with a lot of camaraderie. If you say, what is a cyber guy at Loyola? It's a Loyola student. We have athletes, young men who are in Blakefield players. We have boys that just like technology. My friend came up to me and he's like, hey, we're building a computer in class. We're learning how it works. So I thought, hey, this is pretty interesting. Now I'm here every single day that I can get, and I love it. I originally joined because my brother was in it. I figured he's interested in it, so I probably would be too. So I joined. And I really just liked learning about how computers work and how they interact with each other. If you're a loyal student, you can be a cyber guy. My first year, we started off as a computer club because there were four or five students that had an interest. This is our fifth year. Uh, we have 106. When you see five move to 25, to move to 60, to move to upper 90s and now over 100, you know that you're doing something right. It's a very friendly environment where a lot of teamwork going on, you know, if you don't know how to do something, you can ask the guy next to you. I sat down with a few people and they were the ones that really taught me a lot about what I know right now. So when I was a freshman, I was sort of like a pupil, I guess, and now as I've progressed through the years, as a senior, I'm teaching the new kids. We have freshmen and sophomores and eighth, even eighth graders that we like include, I'm part of our teams, and we talk to and we'll they'll teach us some stuff sometimes. We're working on competition, we're working on a problem, or a client's hired us to do an assessment. Every one of those students brings a different perspective to the table, and he's gonna see something very different than I see. And some days it's like, how did I miss that? The reason that Loyola was picked as one of our top schools is because of how well they do out there in the competitions right now. They're, they're in competitions year-round. They just placed nationally in the Cyber Patriot competition, which is the top 1% in the country. First competition that we won, you would have thought that they won the Super Bowl, right? And it, and it was, right? The Maryland Cyber Challenge at that point was the Super Bowl of cyber for these guys. Winning Cyber Maryland for three years and placing in the top 5% of, of national competitions is great. But I think what's more important is it's inspiring our boys to understand the possibilities of their education. I really had no idea what I wanted to major in at all, and now I'm definitely looking to do something related to cybersecurity in college. As soon as I joined the cybersecurity club, I went through that first year, I was like, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do in my future. Now I'm almost certain that I want to go to a computer science school and major in computer science. It's changed my outlook on uh, what I value as education. As the rest of the secondary schools catch up to where we are, the colleges are gonna to have to retool. And so you have guys in our eighth grade that are getting the equivalent certification of a senior in college. It's a credibility stamp, really, for what's happening here. For instance, universities such as the University of Maryland or 
UMBC, the Naval Academy, who are cutting edge in this space say, wow, Loyola's doing something different. We had four students who interned this summer for us, and they all have already received offers to return next summer. I worked at Exelon. It taught me a lot how the business world kind of works, and it was interesting to see that a lot of government standards and standards that Exelon used are this, is the same stuff that we do here. Everything's in the cloud, everything's put on a server. So if everything's turning cyber and you have a cybersecurity background, you know, they automatically know you know something well. I think the amazing part is all of the students that worked last summer already have offers for next summer. Uh, and they said, how, how many more, more do you have? Parents typically like the word job at the end of school because there's a real business need in the Baltimore, Washington market. I think there's over 70,000 jobs. This is a skill set that's not going to go anywhere. I mean, there is negative unemployment in this field. What we hope to see with this initiative is, you know, people say, look, Loyola leads in this area. They lead in the way they approach um, education and how they look at this field. One of the biggest selling points is just cybersecurity is fun to do. And Definitely a lot of people have joined. I tell people, come for a week, and if you don't like it, you can leave, but the majority of people, after coming for a week, they stay. You know, it's, it's a St. Ignatius quote, you know, he said, go set the world on fire, go spread the message. These guys have taken that mantra of the school and applied it to something who would have thought 400 years ago that it would be applied to, and I think that's one of the coolest things that we've done. Mm -hmm.